What is up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. You guys, in today's video, um, I'm going to simply be on a line going over uh, landing pages and a sales funnel for an actual real estate uh, agent um, slash investor, more like the investor side of it all. Um, this is an individual who who used to be licensed but not licensed anymore has a property that that he wants to sell and he's going to be selling it for sale by owner so a for sale by owner sell of a residential property is when you don't hire a real estate agent right so with today's marketing with today's technology with the freaking internet and social media and the ability to just run a freaking ad and get it and get people in an, in a specific area under a specific interest to see your shit it's powerful. It's like, dude, what do I need anybody else for? It's like, I'll market my own damn thing. Right. And that's kind of the approach that this, this, this guy's taking is he's like, man, I'm going to just sell this thing myself. Like I'll run some Facebook ads. I'll freaking get people to know who the heck it is, uh, or, or get people to know what the heck it is, right. The, the property and, and, and all the, you know, beautiful things about it and I'll sell it on my own. That's the approach, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to be simply walking them through the back end. The back end is your is your landing pages, your sales funnel, your email automation, your calendar. That's all the back end. That's what most people fail to to really, you know, spend time on. They think it's all about a Facebook ad. They'll run an ad a couple times here and there and then that's it. It's like, dude, that's why you ain't doing shit. That's why your damn ads ain't working because you fail to to, to implement and execute the back end. The back end is after they click. They see your ad, they click, where do they go, right? And you guys don't don't mind my freaking, my freaking frozen, freaking, what's his name? Freaking Olaf and, and Elsa. Don't, don't mind those. I got a little three-year-old daughter freaking putting frozen tattoos on me. Um, but, but, um, the back end is, is, is the funnel, right? After they click, they got to be able to go to a page opt in and 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 you and you as the marketer need to be able to capture that lead nurture that lead and get that lead to do what you need them to do right so what what we're going to do right now is spend some time on the back end is the landing page the sales funnel making sure everything is connected i'm going to walk them through kartra so if you're new to online marketing i use kartra for everything my landing pages my sales funnels my email automation my online uh, calendar my affiliate marketing my online membership course for those of you that are into digital publishing and creating information uh, information products, I use Kartra, one software for it all. So there's a 14-day trial in the description, profit with Kartra.online, activate a 14-day trial, and you will get all my teaching and training for free. So I'm going to jump on with my boy B, and I'm going to simply walk him through the back end and um, make sense of it all uh, for, for everyone. So here we go, you guys. Give me one second. Yo, yo, yo. Yo, yo, yo. What up, bro? So go ahead and share your screen. And then um, let's just go into Kartra. So whatever questions you have on it, let me know for sure. Um, but everything should be should be there. Everything as far as the pages, the the if if there's no list, we'll set up a list. Um, and well, I think that's the only thing that we need to do. If I when I go here okay. to get the link. And then uh, I can even get the domain if we need to as well. Okay, so edit. <clears throat> let's go ahead and edit that. <clears throat> we got to change out the links. So let's oh. edit. <clears throat> get coder. No, 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 no. Get coder link. Cancel. <clears throat> get coder link. Change out that link. So here, right? So you see, it no, goes bro. here. No, bro. Go back. No. We're clicking the three dots and we're going to get code or link. So click the three dots, get code or link. You have to change out this link. So hit the, yeah, get the page link, change out the pencil. Yeah, hit, hit that and then hit the drop down to the left. And then just what links, what, um, so you have, you can use, you can use yours, the Royal Media Marketing. You can use that one. No one cares. Like you can use that one. But how if I if I'm using that for my things for my uh, uh, uh that's movie. fine. It it doesn't matter. This is this is this is just its own page. Um the and eventually after you sell it, it's gonna I mean you can you can simply change the link. So 
but to run Facebook ads, it has to be on one of these links. Well, why don't you just get to another link from GoDaddy? If you want, I mean, shit, that's just going to cost you more. So this, if I do this, it's not going to affect anything with, with no, other bro. pages. No, here. dude, no, nothing. Because again, everything is its own individual page. Everything is its own custom audience. Yeah, Facebook's reading the data from that from that um, from that link, but that 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 doesn't mean anything. Like that's not what I'm gonna even need. Like what I'm retargeting is custom audiences. So so if if I have if I have this page in a custom audience, okay, then I have it in a custom audience. If I delete the page, then then I just delete the custom audience. It doesn't affect my domain at all. So choose that domain, bro. Just just save yourself some money. So what I would do is, is name it the address. So just give it the, whatever the address is, the, the, the number and the street name, that's it. Just the number and the street name, not, not the city that yeah. Av perfect. That's it. That's it. Perfect. That's the new link. Okay. So now check the bot, check it close and do the same thing for the thank you page. Let's change out that one and just, um, and just, um, no, no, no. Get coder link, bro. Oh, so get coder link and then um go ahead and get the page link and change this out and what i would do is i would yeah put up i would put um i'd put the address again and then just put um schedule call now yeah have schedule call now all one word all one word just one long ass link it don't even doesn't even matter so check and then that's it. So now let's do one more for the um for the the call confirm page. So let's do the call confirm page. Get coder link. Okay, cool. So hit the pencil, same shit, bro. Hit the pencil. And then just do the address and then and then put call confirmed. Okay, perfect. So now um, those three pages are, are the links are done. So now, now, now we're good. So what we should do real, real quick, close it out. And let's just um, pixel. Yeah, let's, let's grab your pixel. And let's go ahead and, and, and add the pixel to these pages. So ads manager. And then you you want to yeah you want to for sure make sure that that is the pixel from that yeah yep. perfect from this account right I don't know which one you're you're a Royal Media Market all you got to do is just check the domain like whatever um you could just click on just click on the three lines to the left and go to Events Manager and then um. Over here, what you're going to do is just so that's the pixel up there. And then to the right, it shows you the domain. So to the very, very right, right there, are two websites. No, 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 down. It should, bro, you be clicking way too fast, bro. So over here to the right, it shows you your domain, two websites. Uh huh. So that's how you can know which domain is tied to what pixel. So this is this is the one you got you well you got two pixels i guess you got the royal media yeah. marketing pixel and then you got the pixel two so so which this, one are you using this one this one is for affiliated only yeah you know but x out of this which one are you using the pixel one or the pixel two click pixel on the pixel one, two. five seven zero okay so click on that two okay see so look you can tell to the very right zero website yeah, yeah, yeah perfect so, so it's that top one so just click on add events right there down the drop down yeah add events and then from a new website okay cool copy and that's it so now just take it to your Karcher page that's it you don't need any of that so just click three dots and then go into edit and now we're going to add that pixel to the page and what you want to start doing also bro go back out real quick go back out go back out hit the hit the um i guess you can hit the back button i i hate using the back button but go ahead and 
and and just yeah go back go back since you didn't make any changes go ahead and go back what you want to do bro is really get in the habit of, of of titling your pages so as we come in now click the three dots click on edit this is just good habit to get in click on edit and then right here change out that name sb77 yeah change that shit out make it exactly what that is and then um I mean, you can even go the next step and take it out of that shared funnel category. And, and, and maybe if you don't have a category, then, then maybe just put it in real estate. But I think that real estate is your other real estate business. Yes. Yes. So, yes. so just leave no category, no categories, fuck, no category. So hit edit, but, but, but just get in the habit of, of renaming that page name. Okay. That's super, super important because as you, as you start to move through, um, and start building different different pages and you start connecting different links and buttons everything is about the name of the page so it's going to be much easier when you name them the right way so okay. edit yeah edit perfect okay cool so and then and then keeping them very very similar as well so that's what you named the landing page you want to also name that the thank you page but on the thank you page just put thank you Right. So just change it up just a little bit, but it's the same shit. It's the same freaking, you know, name, but just called slash thank you, for example. And then the same one with any other page, you know. So okay, perfect. So over here, now let me just show you how to edit the image. That's what you're gonna want to do for sure. Actually, you know what? Yes. Put the pixel in Hit settings. Oh yeah. Yeah, settings to the left. I uh, mean this track. is Actually, yeah, that's what you want to do too. That's what when you come into a new page, SEO parameters, page title. That's super important because that's the title of the tab right there at the top. So you always want to make sure that that's correct. Change that A. And then also here is you want to always not. Well, yeah, always, but you don't have to do it right now, right now. But you always want to when it comes to the landing page, not any other page, just the landing page image selected the blue one. And then you want to add the image of the property. Because oh, so that's done here. That was my question. That's it's done right there. Yeah. Image okay. selected. Just choose anything for now. Image selected. Click it. And then so now just put um and so you can don't even, I just leave this or no 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 let's no, no, because that, that that there's no picture there. Go ahead and search. Just click houses or type in houses to the right. Right there. Search. No, 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 bro. Search. No, no, hold on. I have a picture of it. I just took a screenshot from that house in the Google. I just need to maybe. No, bro, you don't want to put a screenshot picture there, bro. This one, there's the house. Hell no, that's not, that image looks like shit. So it's not going to be that one. But um, in the future, just just the image that goes there, here's here's two reasons why it's not that one. Go back to it. Two reasons. Number, number one reason why that's not the image, because it looks like shit. And oh. then number two reason is, where's the image? Go back. Oh, yeah, I so. The image is... Um, I know. Vertical. I just took. A, I just wanted to get. Yeah, some. yeah, yeah. It's vertical. So you. Yeah. So this image over here is horizontal. It's widescreen. It's the wide left to right, holding your phone left to right, not up down, not vertical, right? So you want to you want a horizontal image like like these ones. These are horizontal images. Mm -hmm. That one's more square. That one right there that you're clicking. Yeah, that's horizontal. The one to the right of it is horizontal. See how it's left to right widescreen? Yeah. That's the image. Yeah. Just put that one for the hell of it. You could put that one, save image as. Yeah, so this is just, um, you know, just make sure you make a note of this and, and I'll send you this recording for sure. But that's what you're going to want to do is get get an image, mm -hmm. get a good image of the property. And people only see this specific one when you share, when anyone shares it. And so as you take the, the, the link to go ahead and upload image right there, upload image, as you take this link, to social media and just share it for the hell of it. You're going to run ads, but you're going to also just share it for the hell of it. When you share it on LinkedIn, on Twitter, on Facebook specifically, that's the image that shows. Click on it on the house and then confirm to the right and then apply. Always click apply to the left. So, so that right there is, is what shows in the post of the, of the, of, on social media. So that's why that image could be could be so so powerful because you're not the only one that's going to share it. Maybe I see maybe maybe you're targeting me 
right? I live in New Jersey. You're targeting me and I just share it. I just want to be cool. So I, I come across the ad and I just share it because right there, boom, I clicked on it. I came to the page and then scroll down, scroll down on the page. You have these share links, share on yep. Facebook, Twitter on tweet on Twitter, right? So if I'm cool, I'm going to just share it for the hell of it. And that's the image that shows. Okay. So um, down at the bottom, the copyrights, you want to change that shit, put, put your name or whoever's name. Where'd you go, bro? Where'd you go, bro? I don't, I don't even know what happened. So scroll down to the very, very bottom of the page. And then um, that copyrights, the um, Inspire Digital, you want to change that, obviously. And then we got to change out those privacy policy. The privacy policy, terms of use and disclaimer, it's only important um, for the landing page because you're running Facebook ads. When you're running a Facebook ad to a page, they want to make sure you have that privacy policy on there. So okay. that's that's why it's important, but um, not for any other page really. Okay, cool. So that that's good. And then um, now let's let's simply um, we got to add the pixel. We didn't add the pixel yet. So hit the settings in the top left, and then go to tracking. No settings, bro. Settings. Tracking code, and then down here, go ahead and I'm pretty sure you still have it copied. Mm -hmm. Okay, perfect. Apply. Okay, cool. So now save progress. And then um, what you're going to want to do is, is obviously change out those bullet points. Those bullet points could be, you know, something on, on, on the property, obviously. But let me show you how to change the image in the background. So yeah, I thought that was the, the one that we were doing now, but it's not. Yeah. So to the very, very right, that square, that red wheel. Yeah, that's mm -hmm. the background image. So edit. And then the same um blue button click on the pencil okay cool so now background in the top left and then it's image click on this blue button image selected and then that's that's that background image so um yeah so no you got to hit confirm in the top right bro and then apply okay bam just like that so now X out top left X the configuration. Yes, yeah, save progress. And then um, and that that's how you do the damn thing, man. Mm -hmm. So right, right there. So scroll down. See it. See that image is a clear image. You want clear images. That's so freaking important. Yep. 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 Now let's drag that button down a little bit. Let's drag that yellow button into the white. Drag that button down. So just hover over the blue button, oh, the yellow button that cross. Click on that cross and drag it down. And, and hit the first, go down lower, 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 lower into the white right there. Drop it right there. Make it green. Bam. Perfect. Okay. Scroll down. Okay. It's right there. That, that's, that's much better. Now, what you want to do also is there's a, there's an empty box right there, right above the button. You see that drag that, that square, that arrow. Yeah. That, that needs to be deleted. So the way you want to look at that is to the very, very top columns, go into columns, Right there. Yeah. Columns and then hover over that arrow. Go back. Yeah. Click on that and then go down and hover over the drag and drop comp a component down right before, right below the, the check marks. No, right below these, these, no, bro. You're just clicking on it. You're not dragging, bro. Click on it and then go down, scroll down, bro. No, bro. Don't hold the click. You're not dragging shit. What. You're just clicking on columns, click on columns. That's it. That's it, bro. And then scroll down. Okay, scroll down, scroll down, scroll down below. Right, right in here, this is what we want to delete. So <clears throat> this blue, delete the blue. Yeah, X that one out. Bam, there it is there. Okay, so now go, now go back up into components. You work out of components. So click on components, and then that's it. Okay, so now save progress. Okay, cool. Now let's look at this button real quick. So... Go into the um into the button. Let's hover over the button and then click on the pencil. So you can change the text. Um you can the link, yeah. Go ahead and click on link. And then this this form, this is where you'll put the new address. So go ahead and hover over that 777. Yeah, hover over that, put the address for the new property.
Perfect. Okay, cool. So just put New Jersey. That's it. That's it. And then, and then um, this form over the form, hover over the form. Just the, yeah, right there. Hit edit right here, the pencil. And so let's just make sure that this form. Okay, so there's the form over there. Okay, good. So you're good there. So now to the right, click on done. What about here? Opt in form. Should I? Yeah, that's the form. No, we're going to edit that later. Hit done to the right. That's the form. So hit done and then save progress. Um, and, 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 you know, view all 17 photos. Now, if you don't have 17 photos, then obviously come in and, and edit that button. Okay, right? okay. So, let me do that part again. So I come here and uh, when it comes to the bottom, when I want to add, and I click edit. Mm -hmm. If I want to. The link just brings up the form, the text is to the left text. So, okay. so change the text. If I want a different form, where do I go? Scroll down. These are all the different forms right here. Oh, then also change out that image in the background. Change out the image in the background. So this image is to the right, the red, the will to the right. Click on that one and then edit. Leave this form, bro, until you get much yeah, better. Yeah, I am. I'm just asking so I can, I can. No, I'm not going to change it. Yeah, click on image and then image selected. Perfect. And then apply. Okay, good. So there's that. Okay, always hit done. Always hit done. When you're in the form, always click on done. X out of this. Click on done. Yeah, that's like that's like a form of saving. Um, mm -hmm. So again, if you don't have 17 photos, you'll want to come back and edit that. The bullet points, come back and edit that. Um, and that's it for the page. So we changed the settings. We changed the page title. We added the pixel. We did a little bit. Of, we did the edit on the image, um, the copyright, the button. Save so where progress. do I upload the photos? That's the, the, how. That's in that's, the form, right? That's the email. So that's what they're getting in the email. So save progress, publish live, return to dashboard. Let's get out of here. So in the very first email, they come here, they click the yellow button, they opt in, and right away that email sequence triggers, and that first email is what has all the information on the property. Okay, so, so that's the page in real time. That's what it looks like live. So scroll down, look at the whole page. You want to look at the whole page. So click the yellow button. And there goes the form. So, okay, so now X out of this, so let, let's go back to Kartra. Now let's look at that thank you page. So go to the thank you page. So X out of here, yeah, return to dashboard. You'll send me this recording, this is a good thing. So now go to the thank you page, click on the three dots, edit, change that name. Thank you, Paige. Yeah, thank you. Perfect. And then um, take it out of that category and then just put it no category and then edit. Let's add it over here. So tracking code and then paste it there. Let's let's do that. And then and then go back up settings and change the page title. It's the first thing you'll always do, bro. Get in that habit. You come into a page, change the page title, the page title settings. SEO parameters. Now, in this case, schedule showing that could work. That could work. Yeah. You can leave that. That could work. That could work. That leave that. And then the image selected. There's no needed, no need for the image selected or any of this other information because this is the thank you page. No one's sharing the thank you page, right? So, yep. you're good there. So now, um, scroll down. Let's change out. Let's change out the image, and then we can. Um, we can we can change that button and then obviously the logo, but um, scroll up to the right, the red will right here, change out this image. So edit and then background and then image. Perfect. And then confirm. Okay, so there's that. <clears throat> and then um, now we'll X out top left, X out. 
let's see, save progress, see if it. Did you hit confirm? You did hit confirm, right? Go back. Yeah, yeah I did. Hit the edit again on the pen to the right. And then background. There's the image. So maybe that thank you for interest, maybe in a different color, because you know yeah, hardly, yeah. you can hardly see. But let's let's move that button down, that yellow button, scroll down. Let's let's drag, let's drag that down to the white. Right there. Bam. Perfect. Okay, cool. That looks much better. So um hit hit hover over the I yellow button. This one too, right? I don't need this. Yeah. Hover over the yellow button and then just edit. And then um, let's go, let's go link, link. When it comes to buttons, it's all about linking. So link at the top, link. Uh -huh. Let me ask you this then. Can I link this to somewhere else instead of my calendar? Yeah, you can. You can link it wherever you want. Hell yeah. To, to her calendar for it. Yeah, for sure. You can definitely do that. So right here at the top, you would go link to another page. So click on link to another page. Where is that link? Hold on, I don't see that. Right there, bro. You just passed it. It's in the it's in the list right here. Oh, oh, okay. Bro, I don't know how you don't know how to use this software yet. You've been on this software forever. How you not uh, you don't know how to use this shit yet? I don't know. Link to another page right there. So you click on that and then you scroll down, and then right here you select, and then it'd be external custom URL, and then you would just get whatever link let's say her Calendly or whatever, she would need at least a Calendly. You can't link it to her Gmail calendar. Like that shit's not going to work. Like it needs to be linked to an actual online calendar if you're going for appointments. So if you're going for a call, what else I can go for? What, what you can do also is you can just create her, her own calendar. Okay, so let me do that, yes. Bro, that's a whole nother call, bro. We're gonna be on a whole yeah, other call. Not that. That. Yeah, yeah, I don't. But, let's but not do it. that's what you can do. You can easily create a new calendar for her, and then link it to her Gmail. Okay. And that's it. So. Okay, that's I'll what, do that. So now hover over to the very right. So get out of here to the left. You won't link that right now. So hover. Over, yeah, X out. So right below the button, right below the yellow button. The first line, click your favorite icon. So right there, hit the edit. Hit the edit, the pencil. Yeah. And then move this margin to the very, very right. That little dot, move it to the very, very right, to the left. That dot, margin, move it to the very right, all the way, all the way, and then apply. Okay, so I just moved it down a little bit. Mm -hmm. And then so now you want to obviously take away the copyright, take away the or change out the icons, uh, maybe link it to her Facebook, link it to her Instagram. You know, you can do that. Okay. Well, this will be just for this house. So it's not going to be for like a business, but yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So the T, um, whenever it's text, it's the T. Yes, yes. So just change out the inspired digital. Um, and then, um, and then that's it. Link the button, the pixels on it. The page tab is, is changed. Um, we'll do one more, I guess, for email. Not so why don't you just hover over these icons? Get rid of get rid of the Pinterest, get rid of the, the YouTube. Just yeah, yeah. Get rid of um maybe you can just if you want, get rid of all of them. If it's not gonna I'll leave I'll leave Instagram on Facebook. It's actually Instagram. That's Instagram. Le, 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 no, 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 no. That's Instagram. So leave it. So get rid of the other red ones. Yeah, that one. That's Instagram. That's Instagram. So what's the blue one? LinkedIn. Okay. okay so so state progress. Leave. Publish live. Okay, do your poll. And uh yeah, perfect, man. So that's that's the landing page and the thank you page. That's all it comes down to. Once they land on the thank you page. That's when that's when there should be another video of um, of um, 
someone, maybe her, I don't know, someone. There should be so there should be a video right there, bro. And and on that video, number one, I'm thanking them. Number two, I'm introducing myself. Number three, I'm telling them a little bit about or no, no, number one, I'm thanking them. Number and 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 telling them a little bit of the, about the property. Number two, I'm introducing myself. Number three. I'm telling them to check their email because I just sent them all the photos and all the information on the property. That's so we didn't number do three. that. Right? We didn't do that. We didn't set that up. And then number four, I'm telling them to check. I'm telling them to click the button below to schedule a showing. So no, the emails aren't done yet. Okay. Okay. So, we know. so save progress, publish live, return a dashboard. But this is just the, the basic two step, the yep. landing page and the thank you page. Yes. And then you want to set up your email sequence that follows after for sure. Okay. So next up, whenever you have a. Yeah. So, um, but that, that right there, those are your two That's most perfect. important yes. pages. This is perfect. If you can send me. The, the, the... Yeah, bro. Don't worry about that. I, I always do. So awesome. the sequence is what you got to do next. Um, and then. And then that's it, man. And then that's it. The pages look good. Um, and also what you want to do is you want to take those two links. You want to take those two links, the thank you page, the landing page, and, and set up a custom audience. Oh, but yeah. again, well, that's, that. that's really only if you plan on long-term marketing. To tell you the truth, you probably, you probably won't. Well, no, I think it will it'll sell in, in about two weeks. I don't know. Exactly, bro. Exactly. Yeah. That's why a lot of times with listings, I don't even, I don't even, I don't even run ads on, like, I don't even recommend people run ads on listings to tell you the truth, because today the market's so hot, like you list mm -hmm. something and it's sold right away. So it's like, and it's sold for way more than asking. So I wouldn't be surprised once she does put it on the market, it's going to sell quick. And it might not even sell from your Facebook ad. It's just going to sell because that's how the market is. It's everybody's fucking buying right now. So yeah. that's why when it comes, that's why for you, when I'm giving advice to a real estate agent. So when you go out there and talk to other agents, it's all about Facebook ads. It's all about for a real estate agent or for any business in general. It's all about the most general. It's all about the offer, the general offer that's going to allow us to keep our pipeline full. So for example, real estate agent. There, in this case, you can you can run an ad on a listing, you can run an ad on an open house, but again, by the time you list the house, it might be sold right away. So all of this shit that we're going through right now, it might be a waste of time. So yep. so if it's not a listing or an open house, you want to start teaching people to always stay consistent running ads on a seller guide or a buyer guide, because that's general. That's going to keep the pipeline full at all times, no matter what the market is doing. Because what if you don't, what if you don't even have a listing? You know, you're talking to a real estate agent. They don't even have a listing. So how are you going to help them? Seller guide or buyer guide? Let's yeah. say they do have a listing. Again, they're going to put it on the market. It's going to sell in a fucking week. So the whole ad wasn't even worth it for that. The ad, the house isn't selling because of the ad. The house is selling because that's just how the market is. Yes, yes. Let me right? so basically, right now, if she, they click over there, they go on sequences and they get uh, uh, pictures from that house. If there was the buyer guide or seller guide, once they leave the info and click there, they will get, instead of pictures, they will get uh, different pictures. It's just a seller guide, right? Yes. It's the same thing. It will be the same, same thing. thing bro. Same process. Yep. Yeah, yeah, okay, same okay. thing. I don't know that, but that will, we will do that next time. Yeah. So I'll message you after this call. Okay. 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 If you're busy, you don't have to do it today, but uh, I'm all available all week, man. I'm okay. And I'm, I'm okay. Sending. I'll message you. bro. That's okay. the thank you page and the landing page, but I'll, I'll message you right when I'm done. Awesome. Thank you. Okay. Bye. Okay. Bye.